like every, just about every word that's used for in social and political discourse has two meanings. Uh, it has its literal meaning and a meaning that's used for political warfare, which is often quite different. Uh, and that's true of everything. Sometimes it's quite interesting. Uh, so take, say, the notion person, a fundamental notion. It's very interesting to see the way that's evolved in American law up to the present uh, and used in a way which, in, which is highly significant right now. So you go back to the Magna Carta. It says all free men have certain rights, you know, jury trial, uh, uh, due, what we call due process and so on. Well, a couple of centuries later, that was expanded to free people. Uh, when it crosses the Atlantic uh, and enters the constitutional system, it was modified again. It's, uh, it's uh, free white men, okay? So blacks are out, and of course the indigenous population are out. They have no rights to exterminate them. And women were out. Uh, so. Uh, as I mentioned, it wasn't until 1975 that even had a guarantee to be on jury trial. Couldn't vote till the 1920s and so on. Uh, so it was um, a person. The, 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 the Fifth Amendment says no person shall be deprived of rights, you know, without due process. But it didn't mean the indigenous population. It didn't mean blacks. Uh, it didn't mean Native Americans. It didn't even mean it didn't mean women, and it didn't even mean poor men. Because you had the you know you had poll taxes and various kinds of restrictions, but uh, when you get to the Fourteenth Amendment, the word has changed. It's expanded. It's again the same phrase. You know, no person shall be deprived of rights. Uh, it, ex it technically included freed slaves, but that was only technical. But within a couple of years, they were back in slavery after Reconstruction. But uh, at least technically, it did. I mean, they didn't even formally get rights for another century, 1960s. Still excluded women, uh, uh, but it was expanded, as you all know, over the next century to include corporations. So without going through the history, when you get up to the present, you look at the recent Supreme Court cases, they both expand and restrict the notion person. It's expanded to include Corporations now have rights way beyond human, you know, people of flesh and blood. It's also restricted. It's restricted to ex explicitly to exclude undocumented aliens. They cannot, they don't fall in the category of persons. Supreme Court has repeatedly uh, ruled on this over the years. I think the latest is Russell v. Rumsfeld, very recent. They're not persons. Uh, they don't have the right of free speech. They don't have any of the uh, rights in the Bill of Rights because they're not persons. Uh, they're what uh, George Orwell called unpeople, meaning kind of look like people, but it's superficial. They're, they're not people. Well, that's